Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're continuing our series on USB docking stations today and we're going to be taking a closer look at USB 3.0 docking stations and what you can do with them. Uh, these are typically designed for your older computers that don't have a new USB Type-C port or a Thunderbolt port, yet they are very functional. And we're going to be using this Kensington dock. This is their SD3500V to take a look at some things that you can do with a USB 3.0 dock in this video. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship by Kensington. They have reviewed this content before it was posted and also worked with me on the content that we are presenting in this video. So let's get into it and see what this USB 3.0 dock can do. So let's step through what you'll get in the box with this particular dock. You do of course get the dock itself. You'll also get a power adapter. This power adapter is for the dock. You plug it in right down here to uh, provide power to the device because this will power the USB devices that you are connecting to it. Uh, this can be very helpful if you've got a, a lower end PC that doesn't have a lot of power for its USB ports. This will supplement that power. So if you have a hard drive, for example, the dock will power the hard drive and not your computer. You also get a couple of adapters in the box for the video ports here on the back. So if, for example, you wanted to connect up your HDMI monitor to your dock, you would do that through the HDMI port. But what if you have two HDMI monitors? Well, they've got an adapter here that will convert this DVI connector, the white connector here, to HDMI. So you just plug that uh, plug in like so, and now you've got two HDMI outputs on the back of your dock. So that solves one problem there. And again, uh, this adapter is included in the box. And if you have an older monitor that uses one of these VGA connectors, you've got uh, an option here as well that comes in the box, which is a DVI to VGA connector. Again, simply just plug this little adapter into that uh, port and then connect up your monitor to there and you'll be good to go. So they did think about a lot of the issues that you might run into with different types of monitors. There's also a USB connector cable here. This big part uh, connects down at the bottom and the other end uh, plugs into any USB 3.0 port on your computer. And you definitely want to look for a USB 3.0 port on your PC for the best performance. This will also work over USB 2.0, which is a little slower. Uh, so you'll definitely want to make sure that you've got the right connector here. Uh, oftentimes, USB 3.0 ports are blue, uh, but sometimes they are not. And in those cases, you'll want to look on the silk screening of your computer's ports. And usually there's a little SS uh, next to the USB logo on that port to indicate that that is a faster port. And for example, on the front of our dock here, you'll see there are little SS's here above the USB 3.0 ports on the front of the dock here. That's how you can differentiate it. Now for ports, there are a number of them on here. And that's one of the beauties of these docks is that when you connect that single cable up to your PC, you get all of these ports available to you. So at the top here, we've got four USB 2.0 ports. And again, we know these are USB 2.0 because they're not blue, first of all, uh, but also there's no SS next to the USB icon there. So uh, these are slower ports. So for these, I would recommend uh, plugging in a keyboard or a mouse or something that doesn't require a lot of USB bandwidth. If you are plugging in a hard drive, for example, that needs a little more speed, then you'll want to plug that hard drive into one of these two front ports, which again are your USB 3.0 ports. So bear that in mind, keyboards and mice and those wireless dongles and all that kind of stuff uh, goes on the back here because these are slower ports. Right here, you've got your ethernet connector for connecting it up to your wired network. So if you have, for example, your uh, router next to where your computer is located, you'll have a more reliable connection, uh, hooking it up through this uh, ethernet connector as you'll be on a wired network and uh, not susceptible to some of the issues you might run into with a heavily bogged down or uh, interference prone wireless connection. So if you do have the ability to plug in, definitely do that, you'll get better performance. Here are your two display uh, jacks here. We just went over those adapters that came in the box. You can have two monitors hooked up at the same time. And we're going to demo all of that when we hook everything up in a few minutes. Uh, here again is where you connect that larger connection for your computer. The power adapter goes in there. And then on the front, we've got those two USB 3.0 connectors I mentioned before. And you also have two audio connectors here as well. So you can actually plug your speakers or your headphones into this port and get sound again out of a single cable without having to hook up a bunch of stuff to your laptop and you have audio in so you could plug in a microphone uh, into that portion there and be able to record audio or conduct 
uh, teleconferences and that kind of thing. So you get a lot of functionality here delivered to your computer with just a single USB connection, but you do need to keep in mind on a USB 3.0 dock like this one that you do have to still plug in your laptop with its own power adapter. These docks do not provide power to your laptop the way that uh, newer USB Type-C or Thunderbolt devices let you do. So you will have to uh, keep that computer plugged in while you're at your desk. It will work off its battery, of course, but if you are planning to spend the workday uh, using your laptop as a desktop, you'll need to plug it in with its own power adapter. So let's now see how all of this works in practice. I've got the dock now attached to power. Uh, on the back here, I attached a, a DVI connector here for this monitor. I have this monitor connected up by HDMI, but remember you do have the ability to use adapters to uh, get the right connector for your particular monitor. Now I have a USB cable plugged in here at the bottom that's going to go into the side of my older laptop here to get everything connected. And I've got a Kensington keyboard and mouse attached to the USB 2.0 connectors on the dock. So now let's take out this cable here and uh, plug it into the side of my computer and what will happen now is that uh, we'll see both displays light up here and uh, we'll grab my mouse here once it gets activated and we'll be able to uh, take this window here and drag it across these three displays. So we've gone from just a single laptop now to having a keyboard and a mouse and two displays that I can use in addition to the laptop display as well. So I have a lot of added functionality here. Now, if you are running on Windows 8 or 7, I do suggest you go over to the Kensington support site and grab their latest driver package. I would also suggest doing that on Mac OS as well. Windows 10 should work without an additional driver download, provided you have the most recent Windows 10 updates installed. Now, you can also adjust how these displays behave. And let's go over to my Windows 10 laptop here and right click on the desktop and go over to display settings. And what we're going to get here are uh, numbers one, two, and three. And this corresponds with each of these monitors here. So if I go over to the identify button here and click, uh, what you'll see here is a number showing up on the bottom of each display to indicate which number it lines up with here. And right now, this is an extension thing we're doing, so I can drag from one to the other, but maybe I want to perhaps close my laptop lid and just have uh, two monitors working for me. And what I can do in this instance is uh, duplicate the laptop's display on the uh, display to the right of the laptop in my example. So what I can do over here is say duplicate desktop on one and two, and that will mean that this one being one and this one being two, I will both get the same image. And as you can see, when I uh, executed that command, they're now both the same, and I can start dragging my windows over to the other monitor. But you'll notice here that we're not going over there. Uh, it's kind of out of order. If I go this way, it shows up on the other screen, and you can make an adjustment uh, in the control panel here to fix that. So if we go over to, uh, to our control panel once more, and I take this number three and uh, just drag it over here next to the other monitor, uh, we'll switch back here and click on apply. Uh, that will now get the arrangement correct. So you can adjust the, what these displays do and their physical arrangement on this control panel so that you can uh, make sense as to where you're dragging your windows to. And this display technology is very well suited for productivity applications. And I've got, for example, a, a YouTube video here playing on this monitor. And then on this screen, I've got a word processor along with my uh, calendar that I'm able to update. And it seems to be working just fine for this kind of thing. But this is not a gaming solution. So if you are playing games on your laptop, uh, you should still connect your display directly to the laptop versus going through the dock because you are using this display link technology that does require uh, some driver and some uh, CPU overhead to get everything done. And gaming, I found, is not uh, the best solution for the dock. But what you could do, uh, even though that display might be connected directly to your laptop, you can still make use of all the ports that the dock gets you. So you can get access to these USB ports still. You can still use the uh, Ethernet connection for a more reliable networking connection and then just uh, have the display connected up to the laptop directly. Incidentally, if you do attach another display to the laptop directly, uh, you can drive four displays at once with this solution. So you've got two hooked up to the dock, uh, you've got the third one here on the laptop itself, and then you can plug in another uh, display to the laptop and you'll have four total. So this does give you some additional uh, flexibility to maybe have your web browsing windows and stuff on uh, these two displays and maybe some more demanding graphical applications running on your laptop's native 
native video hardware. You do get a lot of new things to think about here uh, by using one of these docks. That's going to do it for the Kensington SD3500V. And this is Lon Seiben. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Steve Blixt, Stanley Taub, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.